Så det är här. You risk getting an electric shock while driving an EV. EVs are not going to give you an electric shock. <laughs> they are insulated, so you won't have any electricity there. You can think of it like your phone. Uh, they have batteries inside. You're perfectly safe. Uh, you can drive around in the rain without getting electric shock. You'll be completely fine. We have you covered. <laughs> EV batteries can't be recycled. They will just wind up in the landfills. Let's definitely not do that. Let's definitely recycle the EV batteries. They can be recycled. They're also designed, actually, uh, to help them in the recycled process. So when we're designing the EV batteries, we're thinking about how they can be serviced, and within that also, which components can easily be removed, so how we can take out components from the EV batteries. We think about, in the design process of EVs, of how they can also be recycled. So that's all the way down to the individual cells themselves, and all the way up to the larger structural components. You can overcharge an EV battery by leaving it plugged in for too long. You can't overcharge a battery. The battery can only go up to a certain uh, charging power, and our software is there to protect you as well. So you can leave it plugged in for as long as you want. That's completely fine. The software will make sure the battery uh, is charged 100%, or to whichever limit you've set it to, and that it'll be completely okay. So don't worry, charge your car overnight, leave it, s sleep in in the morning, you'll be, you'll be completely fine there. <laughs> you can only use 60% of an EV battery's capacity. Because it should never uh, be charged over 80% or discharged under 20%. So you can definitely utilize 100% of your EV battery. The recommendation uh, is to go between the 20 to 80% charge. That's mainly because that's where you get the fastest charging. If you go below 20% or above 80% when you're charging, it's a little bit slower. But the battery does fully work under 20% and it does work above 80% charge as well. So you're very welcome to utilize 100% of the range or 100% of the capacity that your EV has. It's way more dangerous to collide with an EV than a gasoline-powered vehicle because of the battery. So first off, EVs are as safe as a normal car. It says here because of the battery itself. The batteries themselves are actually thoroughly tested in case of crash. So any crash, front, rear, side, they're tested. And also in terms of thermal propagation, they're also tested there to ensure that any passengers inside the vehicle have time to get out and get into safe distance. You can't wash your EV in a car wash. Okay, so that one is maybe towards EV cars and water. So you might remember from your, your high school classes, uh, the water and electricity don't mix. But don't worry, we have you covered here. <laughs> you can safely go into a car wash with your EV. You can drive it around in the rain, you can go into a car wash. They have the same dimensions as most other cars, so they do fit into the car wash as well, <laughs> if that is your concern. And they are water sealed and tight, so you are okay to go into a car wash. You can keep your EV shiny <laughs> and nice and bright. <laughs> the power grid won't be able to handle the EV batteries to come. It will be a disaster. So the power grid itself, um, I don't have too much of a comment on, but the EVs themselves can be charged uh, at home, at the office, at charging stations. So you can actually help the power grid there as well. You can charge outside of peak hours. Most people charge their EVs overnight, which also is a very good option for your, for your wallet. <laughs> um, electricity tends to be a bit cheaper uh, if you go for charging overnight as well. And there you're actually helping the power grid. You're taking some of the electricity that's not needed um, by charging overnight. You can of course also charge during the peak hours, that's completely fine as well. The power grids themselves are able to manage the EVs that are out here, and they're able to manage the EVs to come as well. EV batteries are extremely dangerous. They will catch fire and explode. Oh, that's definitely not the case. <laughs> Imagine that. So. EV batteries are tested, they are safe. 
Um, they go through rigorous testing to make sure they're safe for pedestrians and for passengers and that they are safe out on market. They don't spontaneously combust. Um, they do need to have a reason to go into thermal runaway to catch fire. And they are also tested so they don't explode. They are making sure uh, that you as a passenger inside the vehicle and also outside are safe in case there are any events and you have time to safely evacuate the vehicle and get away in a safe distance. Then we get into some pretty pictures um, of the beach. So I think we're at the end. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.